Hey guys, it's Jake, and Tokyo, Japan is one of the most expensive cities in the world, so I want to show you some free things that you can do when you're there. Number one is to get a free view of the city from the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is the tallest city hall building in the world. It's located in Shinjuku, Tokyo, and was designed to resemble an intricate circuit while invoking the look of a Gothic cathedral. The building consists of a complex of three structures, each taking up a city block. The tallest of the three is Tokyo Metropolitan Main Building Number 1, which is 48 stories tall and splits into two sections at the 33rd floor, and that's what we're going to focus on today. There are two panoramic observation decks, one in each tower on the 45th floor, Entrance is free to the public and it has gift shops and cafes. The observation decks are open between 930 and 2300, but the two observation decks alternate the days they are open. From the lookout, you can see Tokyo Tower, the Tokyo Sky Tree, Mount Fuji, and Meiji Jingu Shrine. And that leads us right in to number two, checking out the Mejijingu Shrine. Mejijingu is a Shinto shrine in Shibuya, Tokyo that was dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his wife. Construction began in 1915 and was built in the traditional Nagari Zukiri style using primarily Japanese cypress and copper. It was formally dedicated in 1920 and completed in 1921. The original building was destroyed during the Tokyo Air Raids of World War II and rebuilt through a public fund raising effort and completed again in October 1958. Meiji Shrine is located in a forest that has over 120,000 trees from 365 different species and covers an area of 100 and 70 acres. The trees were donated by people from all parts of Japan when the shrine was established. Other things to see are giant tories, which are traditional Japanese gates, most commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine, where it symbolically marks the transition from the mundane to the sacred. Nearby, you'll also find a barrels of sake donated to the Meiji shrine. These barrels are a decorative display, giving honor to the gods since the people of Japan have always had a connection between the gods and the sake they produce. Each year, barrels of sake are donated after being used in religious festivals. Number three, the Sensoji Temple. Sensoji is an ancient Buddhist temple located in Asakusa, Tokyo. It is Tokyo's oldest temple and one of its most significant. Adjacent to the temple is a five-story pagoda, the Ashukuza Shinto Shrine, as well as many shops with traditional goods. The temple has a titanium tiled roof that maintains the historic image but is stronger and lighter. Number four, Shibuya Crossing. Shibuya Crossing is located in the Shibuya Ward and is rumored to be the busiest intersection in the world with at peak times over 1,000 people crossing at the same time coming from all directions. That isn't the crowd I saw but was still quite the experience. 
Number five, Ueno Park. Ueno Park is a spacious public park in the Ueno district of Tokyo. The park was established in 1873 and it is one of the country's first public parks. It is home to a number of major museums and cherry blossoms that bloom every spring. In recent times, the park and its attractions have drawn over 10 million visitors a year, making it Japan's most popular city park. The park has almost 9,000 trees, almost 25,000 meters of shrub, a Shinabanzu pond, lotus beds, pagodas, and more. Some of the museums in the park are the Tokyo National Museum, the National Museum of Nature and Science, the National Museum of Western Art, and the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum. It is also home to the Japan Academy, Tokyo School of Fine Arts, and Tokyo School of Music. It also has the first Western-style concert hall in the country, the Tokyo Bunka Kakan, which is a venue for opera and ballet, the Imperial Library. So basically, there's so much to do in this park, you'll have to check it out. And as an honorable mention, I have to check out the Imperial Palace. This is the usual residence of the Emperor of Japan. It is a large park-like area located in the Chiyoda district of Tokyo and contains several buildings including the main palace, some residents of the imperial family, an archive, museums, and administrative offices. I wasn't able to go all the way up, which is kind of understandable. It was cool to see, but don't necessarily consider it a must-do. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a better idea of things that you can do while you're in Tokyo. And if I left anything off the list, then please add that down to the comments. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys like what you saw, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. It just lets YouTube know that people like the content and it will be shared with more people. And if you guys want to be around for when I post my next video, then please subscribe. Until next time.